Hey everyone, welcome to this week's episode of Show Me How It's Done. I'm your host, Laura Nervonis, and I'm here in Edmonton, Alberta. Uh, that's in Canada. If anyone needs a demonstrator or a catalog, please don't hesitate to reach out. I will be posting all the measurements and supplies for this project in the comments on the video, so don't feel like you have to keep up. If you want to just watch and enjoy, you can always come back and do the project later. So today what I want to show you is another project featuring the On the Horizons suite or bundle and um, we're using the New Horizons designer series paper as well as the dies and the stamp set that are part of that suite and the cute little pebble embellishments. So what I want to feature today is this little pop-up here that kind of gives you a little option if you don't want to use a different color. You can actually use the designer paper in the background to make your card come to life a little bit. So it's a very simple card. You'll only need a couple inks on hand. For my piece, because I liked the blue and the purple, I've chosen Blackberry Bliss and Misty Moonlight. But if you're choosing one of the other sets in the package, then go ahead and grab whatever you feel complements the paper itself. So if you'd like to follow along, you will need the On the Horizon stamp set as well as the dies. You'll also need to cut three pieces of paper. So the first is a card base and I have chosen Misty Moonlight for mine. So I'm cutting this at five and a half by eight and a half and I've put a score mark down the middle at four and one quarter. So that's just giving me a nice card base that we can work with. Now on the front of my card, I want something to stamp and work on. So this piece of designer paper measures four inches by five and a quarter. And then on the inside, I also like having something to work with. So we're going to go with another piece that is four inches by five and a quarter. Okay. So let's get going. We might as well just attach that to the inside of our project right now. You can choose to use double-sided tape or you can grab some seal. I, for some reason, don't have a roll here. So I'm just going to put four glue dots on my corners and it will be perfect to just put on the inside there. Okay. So here is my inside of the card. I can come back later and stamp on that if I want to, but for now I'm going to put this aside and we're going to work on stamping this piece here. Okay, so let me just set this up in your frame so you can hopefully see it. So as you can see, the designer paper is gorgeous. It's got so many visuals in it already that you barely have to do anything, but if you want to, we're going to add some trees. So I've got my Blackberry Bliss. I'm just tap, tap, tapping on that ink because they're very juicy. You don't need to do much. So we're going to tap full strength like that. And then right beside it, we're going to stamp off. And that will give you a lighter tree kind of look. I'm also going to do that one more time. So right beside that set of trees. Do another full strength, and then in between, we're going to stamp off. So we've got some nice little layers of our trees. Keep your blackberry open because we've got a nice set of birds. So these guys, I want to make sure my birds are facing the right way. I'm just going to add them to the top left of the project. Okay, really subtle additions here. Next. We'll need our Misty Moonlight ink. This guy right there. So I'm going to start with my grass because that's just gorgeous. A little bit of grass on the bottom. And while the grass is out, that's what I chose to put on the inside of my card. I'm going to do a little stamp right there as well move that back out of my way. Now the sentiment is completely up to you. I went with one of the ones from the set called Wishing You So Much Happiness, but you could also go through your stash and maybe you would like a birthday, maybe you'd like You Are Wonderful, Thinking of You, Thank You, anything goes. So these, as you can tell, are all from different sets, 
but you can use whatever works for you. So I'm just going to go with another wishing you so much happiness because I figured that could be a good birthday or it could also be for like Mother's Day or Father's Day that are coming up. Anything goes for a sentiment. Okay, so we've got this part done. Now we need to do a little bit of die cutting. So I do need to move this. I'm going to grab my cut and emboss machine. Try and get this in the frame for you. Hmm, pardon me. Hmm. Okay. So the die that you're going to want is this little row of trees. Okay. And what we're going to do is we're actually just going to put it straight on top of our designer paper and we're going to cut out this little section. Before we cut, I want to caution you, this little scrap is going to fall out when you're kind of playing with things. Don't lose it. Keep that one with you because you do not want to lose that little piece and I will show you why. So let me get this ready to go. When you're setting up your platform, we've got our nice fat one, and then you should have the thin adapter, some sort of cut up cutting board. Put your paper on top, and your die where you'd like it, and then put your last plate on the top. Okay, so we're gonna roll this through. this. Okay, so once again, just be very gentle when you take this off. Don't lose that little piece coat. So I'm going to just leave him in my die for now. And I've got the perfect cutout from my papers here. Okay, so now I mentioned I'm missing a roll of my tape. So give me one second to grab that. There we go. Let's do this. Okay, so we're going to start by putting our little trees to the side and turning this piece over. So for the perimeter, you can use any sort of flat adhesive that you want. I'm just gonna put a few strips of paper and this will attach directly to my blue piece of misty moonlight. Around this tree line though, I'd really encourage you to grab some sort of liquid glue and just put small dots in some of those finer details of the trees because you just want that background to be nice and flat so that your tree line pops out really well. Okay, And then I just kind of did a really thin layer of glue all around the trees so that when I put it on the card, it will just be really set. Okay, so take off your little pieces and grab your card base. Make sure you're opening it the right way and you can go ahead and put this on the front. It should have a nice frame of blue all the way around. Okay, so do your outsides first, then come in and just gently fold down those sections that you had added glue to. They might just need a couple seconds of your fingers on top, or if you don't have time, grab uh, ink or a block and just set it on top. It will set for you, okay? So it's done right away for me. I'm going to now bring in my little trees and I want to pop them out with some dimensionals. So you'll notice this is very small space. So what I like to do is I take the edge of a dimensional sheet and I just cut myself a strip of some of these scraps. Okay, and these are perfect for you to just cut a nice little chunk of that will fit on this hill. And then you can also do the same for some of those little trees. Okay, so we need a couple chunks here. And then I'm gonna just cut a few small pieces and those can go on my tiny trees because we want this popped up as much as possible, okay? The big trees you can put a mini dimensional on, they will fit. 
but you can in the little ones. So that's why I like these scraps. Oops. About 50 mini dimensionals. And maybe we'll put one more little piece on this edge here. Okay. It's not going to make or break it, but it will look a lot nicer. Okay. Got dimensionals all over the back. Go ahead and take the backings off. And we're going to put this right in that negative space. And it will fit perfectly because that's where it was cut from. And you can see it just stands out so much, but it looks a little weird with that little blue space. So that's why I said, don't lose this little piece. Okay, so now's your chance. We're going to just put a small teeny dot of blue right in that spot and put this negative piece back where it should be. You might wanna grab your take your pick tool or a pair of scissors even if you need to just move this into place, but it should land quite nicely. Okay, and then to decorate, I thought it was fun to grab a few of our little pebbles. And you can just make kind of like a little rock pile at the edge of the grass, however many you would like. I think three is even just fun. And then if you want to do a little twine bow, maybe grab about six inches, two strips of six inches of your twine, keep them together, and then tie a mini bow. And this bow is easiest to put on if you have glue dots, but you can certainly use some liquid glue if you just give it a chance to dry as well. Okay, nice little bow, trim those edges. And I have lots of scrap. So when I'm using my um, glue dots, what I like to do is just find one right on the roll. I put my bow on top of it and I just pull up so that I haven't touched this glue dot at all. It's just ready for me to attach to the card. And there you go. This is just a super, super simple way of decorating your card without having to add other colors to it. You're actually just using the entire piece of designer paper that you love and bringing it to life a bit. Um, some of the other dyes that you certainly could do this for are maybe the mountains, using one of those really purple pages. Uh, let's see if I've got one handy. Here's just what I have left. Okay, this one would be cute. So instead of using this, I've popped that up. But this one would be really fun if you wanted to pop out maybe some grass from the bottom. You could also pop out some little houses. You could pop out hill, whatever you want. Like this one has a lot of potential um for you to play with i like the grass idea on the bottom of this one and then where could you do mountains here's a nice one too a nice lake you could do the same idea that we did with the trees or you can take your mountains and you could pop them out of the page right there it'd just be very subtle nice quick and easy so lots of options for you depending on which piece of paper kind of catches your fancy. This would be a really cute one for the grass as well. Put him down there. You could do the tree line up at the top or substitute out for the houses, whatever you prefer. Maybe you do both. You could always do one and then the other. Lots of fun project ideas. But I hope you like the technique 
and I do hope that you give it a try. Maybe you don't have this bundle and that's okay. You can always use something in your own collection as well. And don't forget to use your sentiments to personalize it to whomever you're giving it to. Okay. So thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you had fun and I hope you enjoy using your New Horizons bundle even more. Bye.